So hello everybody and welcome back. Hope everybody's had a good weekend so far. But today we'll be taking a look at this uh, P51 D or K Mustang. The Pacific Aces is from a Tyler I in 148 scale. There you can see the kit number 2743. Let me take a look at these instructions. I don't have the box anymore. See this four sprues of plastic? I think it was gray and then a clear sprue as well so you see we have a lot you know crammed together in one instruction we start out building the cockpit here put the seats in the control stick the other levers here and the, the pedals then here we put the sidewalls on the instrument panel and we also have this other part here for the instrument panel and the sight and this piece in the back too then here we put this intake in the cockpit and the tail wheel and then also there's some there's painting instructions for the side panels here then here down here we got a firewall that goes in here for the intake it's probably like a radiator and then we also have this other piece in the back this uh, exhaust port So number two, we put the exhaust in and put the um, fuselage together. Number three, we build rockets. You have your alternative types. You have these the smaller rockets are the rocket tubes. You can see here it shows, you know, you got to drill holes here for them. Here number four, we have more holes to drill for the ejection holes for the ammunition. Then down here, or we put the wings on, put the wings together, put the wings on, put the horizontal stabilizers on. We have our cannons here, and our propeller hub, and the bottom of the nose there. So number five, we put our propellers on, we put our cockpit together. You also have, you know, this is the K version, this is the, the D version, and your options. So number seven, we have the fuel tank pylons, this intake, and this intake, and this exhaust, and the tail wheel there. We also have our lights here, and then here we have uh, instructions on building the fuel tanks and the bombs and stuff. So number nine, we put our alternatives on here. We have your fuel tanks or your bombs. Uh, we put the main landing gear on and the doors to the landing gear bay doors as well. Then here we have our decal instructions. These are the common decals, common markings. <coughs> and we have a lot of options for decals on this kit. This is a P-51D from Major William Shomo, 82nd TR, uh, well this is from the Philippines, 1945, Ben Mali, the Flying Undertaker. This is a P-51D or K, Lieutenant Colonel William D. Dunham, 348th, Lishima, Okinawa, August 1945. This is a P-51D, James Buckley Tap, Southfield, Iwo Jima, 1945. This is a P-51D from Lieutenant Charles F. Frank, SEAL, and Captain S Stanley Zagorski. It's called Empire Commuter. This is a P-51K from Lieutenant Colonel William T. Banks, 348th Flight Group, Mishima, Okinawa, 1945. This is a P-51D from Major Robert W. Moore, 345th Fighter Squadron, 15th Fight Group, Iwo Jima, 1945. So a lot of decal options for this kit. You can buy multiple ones and build different ones. And P-51s are really cool, so you can actually do that pretty good. But, yeah, there's a problem. And so here's the kit. Here's the model. Um, 
I didn't do all the things I should have done with it. The decals turned out pretty good, except for the invasion stripes. They are uh, peeling off, even though I protected them. The rest of them aren't peeling off, though. The names are there. The one I made was the Flying Undertaker. I thought it looked cool. You see, the invasion stripes are not good. I'll be repainting those. Probably take the... Well, I'll take... I'll tape it off first and I'll take all the, the decals off. Hopefully I can go around the, uh, well you see the, uh, the randells are peeling off too. But luckily, at least, <clears throat> the nose art's not. That would be, you know, the, the worst part, but you see the rest look pretty crappy. The roundels and the invasion stripes. And so I also didn't do all the stuff I should have done here, filling gaps and stuff. But I don't think there should be that many gaps. It should fit together a lot better. I, I did a speed build on this and didn't do a lot of extra, but I did protect the decals after I put it together. Here's the other side too. The nose art on both sides did stay. But I'm going to have to patch up the rest. I'll, I'll, I'll just paint the stri stripes, invasion stripes on there though. I think it's better to be paint them on anyways. Anything, any kind of uh, stripes or something that are in a big, big area, I think it's better to paint them on. Just like I have this, uh, just like I, I have this Helldiver too, in, in this tail, I would paint that on too. It's easily just, yeah, you can, you know, put put a piece of masking tape so, and a masking tape so, you have, you have to do one part at a time, but there shouldn't be no problem. I'll be doing a review of that soon. I already built this once, but it got totally, something heavy fell on top of it, and totally broke the whole fuselage. So I bought another one. I'll be using some of the parts from the old one to build the new one though. Because I have the Edward dive flaps for it. I'm going to reuse those. But this kit can turn out really good uh, if you put a little bit more time than I did in it. And I still think it turned out pretty good. But when I uh, when I redo the stripes, I'll, I'll do a little filling and stuff to, on it too. Make it look a little better. Here on the top. Mostly just there on the top frame, top of the frame. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and join me next time when we're going to take a look at this Yak-3 Soviet fighter from Swesden 148 scale. So until then, bye.